We're going to take a look at how to create an XY scatter plot in Excel. So first we have our data table set up with our salinity, temperature, and DO measurements and the expected DO. So the first graph that we want to create will be an XY scatter plot comparing the temperature to the dissolved oxygen. So the first step I want to take is to highlight that data in the data table. Next, I'm going to go to insert and I can use a shortcut for scatter charts, which would be um, the bottom most one. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and then um, I would choose the type of scatter plot that I would like. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one without connections. And so now you can see that kind of pops in with this default pieces. Um, we have our dissolved oxygen on the Y axis and we have our temperature on the bottom. So next thing we want to do is to make sure that we have everything labeled correctly and that we have all the components that we should have for a biology chart. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus and um, we need access titles. We do not need a chart title. We will need some data lo labels and um, we do want a grip legend, however, so that we go along uh, with the biology writing guidelines, we're going to go ahead and move that. So, so our chart looks good. Uh, one of the last things we want to do is change the marker types because if this is printed in black and white, these points not, might not be very discernible. So to do that, we're going to select the series by double clicking and then you can see the format data series options com comes up over on the right. We want to choose the paintbrush to get into the editing of the look of it. And you're going to see very small, there's line and then there's marker. So you want to select marker and then you should see right underneath marker, there's marker options. Click that arrow so you get more choices and select built in. And then you want to select um, the different marker that you would like to use. The last step we want to do is label our stations. So if you hover over your data point, you'll see it'll tell you where it's drawing that data from. So this is point 29. Um, so it's telling me the temperature 29. So that would be my station two. So to edit it, you can simply double click that station and then you can type in uh, its label.